everyone, I really hope you've noticed a difference, noticed my new lighting system. I know it's like hella bright right now, um, I'm still in the process of testing like what's the best kind of setup for it. My room is quite small so I don't really have much choice of how far away to put them but I hope it's not too bright for you guys and I hope that you can see me a lot clearer now and that you're looking forward to my new videos with this better, better lighting. Yeah, thumbs up if you like it! Okay, so this is going to be a really, really late, as you can probably imagine, uh, 2012 favourite, but I didn't want to do it at home with all my products up here because I barely brought anything with me to Cork because um, I knew I wasn't going to be going out that much or anything, so I wasn't going to drag a lot of stuff with me. So I left a lot of my favourite products up here, not thinking at all about 2012 favourites. So I'm going to show you them today, um, better late than ever, really. I knew if it went into February, I wouldn't bother doing it. So here I am with my favourite products of 2012 and I'm going to go through them really really quickly because I have beauty favourites, I have skincare, hair and just random favourites, YouTube favourites, music favourites to show you guys so I'm going to try not to go into too much of a review of each of these products. If I have reviews on them already I will link them down below for you guys. I'm going to fly through my favourite lip products and um, these matte lip... Ooh. Jesus. Okay, well, you got the picture. These matte lip creams are absolutely brilliant. And um, the one I just dropped was a Collection 2000 one. Um, and then there's also these NYX ones. Um, so you can get the Collection 2000 ones in the UK. You can probably get the NYX ones online. And uh, if you're in America, then they should be fairly available to you. Um, and oh, I absolutely love these. They're exactly what they say. They're soft matte lip mo moisturizing lip cream. And I just find that like, I've never had like a matte lip color that actually didn't dry out my lips. And this one here, the red, it's called Amsterdam. This one's Stockholm. But this is like my favorite red of all time. It comes out exactly like the bottle and it just comes out so vibrant and matte and Oh, it just looks so so good in the lips and it's my definitely my all-time favorite red and um, I've had this for like a year now and the tube is still not finished up Um, I don't know I just love these I feel really really good about myself when I wear these and um, then I've got like two or three of the kind of your lips better color like this one here um, and I love them they're great even when your days where you're wearing no makeup they just perk up your face a little bit and they're pretty reasonably priced. I mean, if you're in Ireland, you can probably find them on like Cloud 10 Beauty or Beauty Emporium or something. If I can find them, I link them below. But if you want to go check out that uh, yourselves, then feel free to. But I absolutely love these. Um, no surprise, my favourite MAC lipstick this year was a top by MAC. And this is the one I have on now. I have a little bit of blankety in the centre of my lips as well. A bit like pinky red on camera, but like when you look at it in real life, it looks brown. Um, like Paz de la Horta brown. And I don't know, I really like it. it kind of, it's really 90s and I find it really suits my skin tone. I bought this because I saw uh, Barbara wearing it. And usually, because she has dark hair and a kind of similar skin tone to me, I tend to know, I just tend to kind of trust how it looks on her and I'll kind of just go out and kind of have a look at it and I did I bought this straight away and it was the last one in the shop I don't think they even had a tester of it it was that kind of unusual and I really really like when that happens because I hate having like things that like a lot of people have so I definitely definitely loved this one this year on the subject of lips, I also liked the number 7 uh, lip liner, the precision or the perfect lip pencil in 20 nude Again, you don't have to pair this. It's like a twisty, uppy one. They're great and they last me absolutely ages. This is only my second one. I think you might go through one in a year. They're really, really um, long lasting. They're the perfect consistency. Creamy, a little bit waxy, but not too kind of runny that um, you can't like line your lips properly. Um, and I use this under everything. I use it on its own. I use it with lip balm, dark lipsticks, pale lipsticks. I use it with everything. I honestly wear this like nine times out of 10 in it like days and even when I wear no makeup I try and at least um slap a little bit of this on it's my exact natural lip color um, and I just use it to like even out my lips on days where I'm not wearing any makeup and um off I go I think it is pretty expensive but I think if you have the 750 voucher uh, that you get with most most boots purchases then it's pretty on to skincare products my favorite foundation of 2012 which i kind of just um level out as the foundation i wore the most in 2012 was definitely the estee lauder this is a very grubby one um double wear light stay in place makeup it's just the lighter version of the original double wear i really like it i found that shade intensity 2.0 is like my exact shade it matches perfectly with my neck 
Um, it's not too light, it's not too dark, I don't look too pale, um, I don't look, like I said, too dark because I really hate like looking like I, you could touch my face and like rub off the dark colour and see the lighter colour underneath. So this is absolutely perfect for me, I love the finish of it, it's really easy to blend, it just really suits my skin tone and my skin type. Um, I mean, I don't know, I just, I've never had a foundation this close to my skin shade. I did repurchase it twice, this is my second bottle, but I am going to try NARS uh, Sheer Glow because everyone goes on about that one and I just like to change it up sometimes and try something new, but I do, this is definitely my favourite foundation of 2012. Um, I, I just find with my skin type, um, double wear, I love double wear as well, but I just don't need the coverage. I find that I can get medium to full coverage with this because um, I don't have like a lot of blemishes to cover up so I think the light one really it's like my going out makeup it's you know my nice day out makeup it's my kind of everything makeup if I'm not wearing BB cream so yeah I really like that one again another high-end product was the Bobbi Brown um, Creamy Corrector I got mine in the shade Light Peach it's absolutely perfect for me because the peach was just a little bit too dark for my uh, skin shade and I really really like it I didn't I didn't get on with this at the start at all but I found that you just need to play with it a, a little while like I think I just completely ignored it for like a month and then I picked it back up and um, but I like the little mirror inside it again it just covers up my dark circles really really well and I have really really bad under eye circles but like I said you have to find the right way to use it Um, I did do like a review and like how I used it a really really long blog post so I'll link that down below if you're looking for it and um, that's on my blog obviously Um, but yeah back to kind of drugstore or pharmacy collection 2000 lasting perfection I use the shade light number two under my eyes I find that it's just really really good over my corrector um, and yeah I just really like it I've tried the Maybelline 24 hour just didn't kind of stay as long as this one did and it didn't cover as much as this one did I know like every beauty guru has talked about this and rightly so because it's cheap as chips and it really does do the job and I really like the other one too the illuminating touch that's like a highlighting concealer love that as well especially if I just can't seem to correct a dark patch I like to use the illuminating touch just in that area just ran out of that so and um, that lasted me absolutely ages it's a twist up uh, concealer I really really like um the doe foot of this and the twist up applicator brush of the other one My favorite and there are a lot of other people's favorites too for highlight I've really been liking benefits high beam now I've, I know you're gonna say oh she's got the sample size you know she's stingy bitch um but honestly I haven't had a need to buy the full one. I've had this sample for about two years and it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's still, there's still like a good quarter of it left inside here. And I just use it um, kind of on my cheeks, obviously on the top of my cheekbones. I just find it sits really, really well on top of um, the skin and it's not too dewy and it doesn't kind of mess up your foundation. So I really, really like that. It just felt like if I bought like the full bottle, like I'd never, ever, ever use it up. So I'm kind of hesitant to buy the full size. But if I have to, I will, because I really, really like this. Oh, honorable mentions, I left my sleek contour kit in the shade light and the blush by three palette in lace at home but they're definitely definitely my favorite um colored kind of contour and blush powders brilliant value for money but i just left them in cork which is so annoying but they definitely deserve a big man. on the topic of eyeshadows i've got signed and sealed by mac um a very very it's coming up a bit lighter but it's a very dark blacky brown with a slight dark purple sort of undertone it's really really good uh, to kind of very very subtly highlight uh, brown eyes and as well I use this in my brows and um, I never use black in my brows this is about as dark as I'd go in my brows um, but or it's kind of the kind of like a, a kind of a chocolate matte shade in my brows from the sleek palette this uh, signed and sealed shade by MAC is definitely one of my most used and you can see there's a big dip out of it and I don't use my makeup that often so for there to be a dip in it is a really really good sign that I love it and really really like this if you brown eyes i would definitely uh, recommend it it's good for like that kind of the darkest corner color in your eyeshadow or just even lining your eyes if you didn't want to use eyeliner or gel eyeliner and um, for a more kind of softer look um, and i just it's a really really nice pigmented deep matte brown with no shimmer or anything in it and 
definitely recommend that one because I have these two NYX ones now I have no idea where you'd buy these again maybe check out like some of the online stores like Cloud 10 Beauty or Beauty Emporium I mean if you guys know where to get these I'll leave them in the comments for all the other um, viewers to see where you can get them but basically I got these in a swap and um, with a lovely girl in America and um, I got the shade Deep Charcoal and Pure Gold and I absolutely love these eyeshadows so much I've got a deep gold um, under my eyes right now um, and they're just lovely and um, they're like a kind of a metallic sheeny pearlized sort of finish but the thing is with these is I find like even this one has a little bit of glitter in it just ever so slightly a lot of shimmer a lot of metallic but I use it under my eyes and I find that usually when I put a shadow under my eyes I get a lot of fallout I'm sure you're all familiar with the fallout from Urban Decay shadows or Sleek shadows and these ones don't fall out like at all like they're MAC quality eyeshadows in my eyes um, and I just feel like for the consistency they're really soft they're smooth they're blendable and you can just pack on and pack on like I did under my eyes today and you will get like absolutely no fallout and I just think they're really good quality and I think if you're if you're in America these are pretty readily available to you guys at like the drugstore or whatever um, and I would definitely look into maybe picking up some more of these um, and like I said these are just kind of like metallic ones Favourite mascara, no surprise, Shiseido's Perfect Mascara, the Defining Volume one, that's a big um, important one of that, it's, uh, they have a couple of Perfect Mascaras, but the Defining Volume one is my absolute favourite. If you've got Asian lashes that are short, that you need to curl all the time, um, this holds them exactly how you've curled them. Um, this isn't the waterproof version, but honestly I don't feel like I need the waterproof one. This is completely smudge proof, doesn't flake doesn't um, run in the rain, it doesn't run at all. I just feel like it's already a waterproof mascara because it's really hard to get off as well. One of these bottles does me six to seven months. I only have to buy mascara twice a year. Now it is pretty expensive. It's like 25 euro, 23-ish pounds, but it is so worth it. I find that when it starts to dry up, I just kind of warm it in between my hands or I leave it on the radiator in the morning when I'm getting ready and it's good to go or you can add a bit of water in it there as well and it's good to go for another few months. I just, I absolutely love this mascara so much. Um, I'll get any better than this. I find that one coat does lengthening and a bit of volume and then another coat like really pumps up the volume. It's just everything that a short eyelash, straight eyelash person could ever want from a mascara and it's an Asian brand so if you've any sort of like straight or short lashes Asians got that shit down okay so I would definitely recommend that one but I would get a good makeup remover because this is stuff is strong. Real Techniques I know again not a surprise but I actually haven't got much Real Techniques brushes I'm going to buy um, some this week but basically this brush blush brush um, it's the first one I ever bought and I use it every single day when I put on makeup and um, it totally changed like my contour routine obviously I use it for blush as well but I really really like it for contour because it gives a really subtle like you can't do a harsh line with this brush and I think that's really important when you're doing contour because you don't want it to like I don't know too like rough or too weird looking like too stripey looking so I find that like you can just get a really nice buffed out look with this and I use it for blush or bronzer or anything like that as well. Favourite perfume Alien I love it so much it's my favourite perfume it has been for years and it's like my staple like scent it's just I smell like alien all the time and um, I just feel so kind of special like I feel like it's a special occasion when I wear this I do try and use it sparingly but I just got another bottle for Christmas so I can use up this one now and not feel bad about it and um, but I love it like I, if a girl walks past I'll know if it's alien and again it's popular but it's not like hugely popular um, and like it's like I said it's just one of those it's like Yves Saint Laurent's opium it's just one of those scents that you like instantly recognize and it doesn't kind of smell like anything else that I've smelled before so I really like that I love the bottle Terry Mugler is one of my favorite designers of all time I like did my um like art research essay on it I just love Terry Mugler so much um and I know I butcher his name but trying to do it in a French accent for you guys is not going to turn out good so yeah he's one of my favorite designers and I love this perfume I love the color and the bottle it just really like is me kind of 2T like my personality so I love it. On to skin real quick and uh, my favourite moisturiser was the Olay Essentials. I cut mine in half so that's why half of it is missing. Olay Essentials, uh, Complete Care, Multi Radiance, 
for normal to dry skin moisturizing cream um, I have the one for normal to dry and then you saw in my other video which I'll link below showing you how to use it and the effect it gives on the skin I have the normal to oily as well I like both versions um, I think it comes in a pump now which is really good um, but it just gives my skin a lovely highlighted sheen um, no matter what foundation I use it really comes through but it's not glittery it's not shimmery um, but if you want to see it like I can better describe it in the video so I will leave that down below for you guys if you want to check that out. The basis and the foundation these are my rocks in my skincare routine and um, they're just completely fail safe and they're the Garnier Skin Naturals range and I have the um, two-in-one makeup remover which is the oil based uh, biophase one and then I have the cleansing lotion milk as well these are really really comparable to the Chanel biophase makeup remover and the Le Comfort uh, cleansing milk and um, they're honestly they're complete dupes and I actually prefer these ones because they're fragrance free and there's no alcohol in them there's no colorants there's no perfume and there is perfume in the Chanel ones and I find that if you have sensitive skin then Chanel products uh, tend to react with a lot of people whereas these don't and um, they're just really basic but really good quality and again you can get them in boots or you know you know the pharmacy or whatever and um, this is really good like I said it is oil based so it's not going to suit every skin type but for me I've got really non-fussed skin like my skin just says you know do whatever it doesn't really care um but this takes off my really really strong mascara um and I just use it to remove all my makeup just on the same pad and then on a clean pad I use this to really make sure that I get all the dirt off my face it's so lovely it makes your skin so soft and your skin is actually moisturized after you use it so you don't need to moisturize after it if you don't want to it just leaves your skin like really soft and supple and clean feeling um, and the fact that they are for sensitive skin is a, a really really big plus and honestly like ditch your simple ditch your Nivea like go for this stuff it is so good on to hair again no surprise tangle teaser I just got a brand new one I got the perfectly glittery one I did have the neon pink one but it went completely missing and I really needed a new one because the bristles were starting to get a bit bad on it but yeah the this is a lifesaver if you've got long hair um, mine's really prone to tangling and matting so this like I can't live without the tangle teaser it's just not an option for me and um, um, my favorite I now I don't really have like a favorite shampoo or anything because to be honest like I just use any shampoo in my hair I know the lighting is showing up those horrible like ombre bits that I should really die over again and um, since I went back um dark haired again from having like highlights in and stuff um I haven't really needed to condition much and um, I did get about six inches off my hair my hair is about to like earn here and then I got six inches off a good few months back and then it grew out again so um but when I did have that hair and I still do it now I do it maybe twice a month or three times a month and um, the Aussie three minute miracle conditioners the my favorite one is just the three minute reconstructor and the luscious long is also quite good as well but just not as moist like I said I like the luscious long for kind of a lighter conditioning because I just don't find it as, I don't know, reconstructing, I guess, as the deep reconstructor. Um, I just find that this does a really much kind of better job at protecting like split ends or rough ends um, than this one does. I don't know, but I do like the smell of this one. Um, there's no way to like fix split ends or anything. I do have, I will do a hair video at some stage because so many of you have been asking about my hair and how to get it like longer and stuff like that um, but these definitely definitely do help if you have already damaged hair and you're trying to grow it out more um, well this what was what helped me anyway but I will go more in depth on these in my future updated hair care routine lastly but not least I have some random favourites written down um, okay Music wise, this year I've been liking Florence and the Machine, I like her every year. I've been liking Ben Howard a hell of a lot. Um, the Weeknd, but I've actually been listening to The Weeknd for about two years since like House of Balloons like, came out. But I love The Weeknd, I love him so much. Um, uh, Kanye West's new album, Cool Summer, I love it. I just, Kanye's always got the beats and um, I like him a lot. I really go hard in my room when I'm like putting on my makeup and stuff to Kanye West. Oh yeah. Cyril Han, really been liking Cyril Han. 
he's like after blowing up like his views on YouTube are like huge now um, but when I listened to him he wasn't that popular because I'm subscribed to um, Mr. Love Louder on YouTube um, I don't think whoever he is uploads very often but he used to upload like really unknown sort of songs and I guess Hype Machine is good as well um, but Cyril Hanna really like him and I just bought a ticket to go see him in Dublin so um, if you like really kind of he does like remixes basically but they're really smooth and chilled and kind of slow mode out and they're really really good so I check them out. Um, Calvin Harris has been better this year. Uh, who else have I liked this year? I'm not going to deny it, it's a bit cheesy but I really really like Bruno Mars this year, I don't know why. He's just got that little cute little small look to him and he's so cute. Um, Random, onto my random favourites. Really like vegetarian meat this year. I've never tried it before, but I think it's really good. Corn, I've been liking. Linda McCartney sausages, I've been liking. It's just so weird because it actually tastes and smells like meat. So I was kind of hesitant to keep eating because I was like, okay, there must be tons of chemicals in this stuff if it really smells and tastes this much like meat. But apparently, not so much. Apparently, it's just like, um, wheat and protein and stuff and um, I mean feel free to inform me if I'm missing something but I've been really 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 liking vegetarian meat and I do try and replace it with like regular like the only uh meat that I don't try and replace with vegetarian is chicken because chicken's chicken it's not really that bad for you you can cook it quite healthily but um I really really like corn meat and stuff because I'm not like a huge beef person anyway so I tend to replace like uh, like the mince and stuff with the corn but I don't buy the corn the frozen corn mince in the bag because that looks like horrible like horse pellet food I buy the corn that's like in the chilled section in the supermarket it's like it's not frozen and it's not like dry it's just oh it's so good um, and I've just been really pleasantly surprised by how good vegetarian food is um, and I've been tr kind of subconsciously trying to go like bit like vegetarian like at least five times a week I kind of only have like a burger or something like that now when I'm out like having a meal I don't really tend to have like steaks or anything like that at home um, unless it's been like pre-cooked for me like by my parents and stuff but I do most of the cooking when I'm at home anyway these days so I don't know I just really really like it I've been really like my veg and stuff so I think I wouldn't want to say I'm vegetarian and um, also I've been eating a lot more fish um, but I wouldn't want to say I'm a vegetarian but I mean if I wanted to I think I could be but I, I'm choosing to just kind of reduce the meat in my diet rather than just say I'm a vegetarian. Um, Nando's, I've been really liking Nando's this year, I used to hate Nando's just because I had one bad experience there and I kind of never went back there again and I didn't like the food at the time but now I go for something slightly more spicy and I do quite like it, it's kind of like our pre-cinema meal um, and I do, I really really like it. I've been really liking super cosy tights, um, Lily Pebbles mentioned them in one of her videos like a while back and they are the biggest revelation to me this year, they literally got me through the winter. I've been really liking the iPhone this year, it's my first ever iPhone, I got the 4S and I love it, I love it so much. I love it so much. Eating Beauty Crush or Sammy, um, as I'm sure she prefers to be called. Um, but yeah, when I was in London Fashion Week, me and Leanne from Leanne Woodfull's channel, we got to meet Sammy, which was really, really, really cool. Um, it was just really casual, really like chilled out, and she's a really cool, really, really nice girl. And I mean, she's like right up my street. Like I started watching, which is another favorite of mine, her vlog channel. I didn't know she had a vlog channel before, and like I just feel like. I could seriously like be friends with her in real life. I mean, she's really into her cooking. She's in a relationship as well. Um, her style is obviously sick. Um, I'm not saying my style is, but I mean, I don't know. I just she's like a really really cool kind of chill out girl. She seems to be kind of the kind of same values and same kind of um priorities in life that I do. Um, so meeting her was really cool and uh, something that wasn't exactly planned but I'm really happy that it happened and I mean not many people get to say that they met Beauty Crush so so Sammy if you're watching hello and I hope to meet you again soon. A highlight of 2012 for me I went to Fashion Week in London last September uh, like I just mentioned and it was amazing I got to go into quite a few shows I got like a blogger pass I was able to go in uh, and around the 
premises, the property, and see all the exhibitions like in Said London Fashion Week inside Covent Garden, and it was amazing. And just getting to see like seeing everyone's like personal style and people not being afraid to dress any way that they want to. I think Europe and London is really the center capital for fashion. And I think that I always think that nearly America and other countries try to emulate that originality that I think just comes natu more naturally with Europeans so um, that was just amazing to be in the centre of it all and I was there for like all of it except for like the last day which is really really good and I got to see some shows that I never got to see I got to sit in like the David Coma show and um, oh my god oh my god my mind's gone completely blank but it was amazing I have favourite YouTubers as well this year. I mean, they're pretty much the same as they always have been, but I found a couple of new ones. I'm really bad at finding new channels. Um, so unless you like write to me on Twitter or Facebook or s and stuff, or I unless you kind of pop up in my YouTube feed, I find it really hard to find new YouTubers. And if you have any kind of suggestions about people that are similar to the kind of people that I'm about to mention, please, please leave them in the comment below because I love actually when I find a new YouTuber I get completely obsessed and um, it's just always nice to kind of keep it fresh in your subscription box but this year of course I've been loving Barbara from the Persian Babe, all the links will be in the down bars, Cyan from Cyan, Cyan Shutterbug, um, Kate from Kate This Is What I Do, uh, Ricky Richards um, TV, uh, Sammy's uh, blog, I think it's like the Miss Maria show I think, correct me if I'm wrong um, but I've been loving her blog channel like I love her cooking videos um, just I love her vlogs things like that um, I've been really enjoying this year and as well a new one for me this year was Close Encounters I've been really really enjoying it I'm sure like everyone knows who Close Encounters is but um, I just find the kind of style of her videos quite interesting and she's really pretty and stuff um, and yeah I really really like her videos and she always kind of gives me a new kind of idea for an outfit that I wouldn't have necessarily put together before so for that I think it's definitely worth checking her out if you didn't. Alrighty I think that is my favourites done guys thanks for watching like if you did and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video guys bye!